Today, I will be competing in the first ever 5v5 event for a spot in the 2K League and unlimited boost. Yo, this 5v5 event is really matchmaking with randoms. Four seconds, four seconds, come on. For the lead, for the lead! Off the back leg! Oh, that's green! I'm throwing the lob, D-Way to LeBron! Oh, they'll come at me. It don't matter who's guarding me. I'm going to the right. Get dunked on, boy. That is 72 points. I'm going for the 100. He's passive, bro. They won't give me the ball. Two point game, five seconds left. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sixth place. I'm sixth place. Oh my god, we need to play another game. We need to play another game. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another video. Now, today's video, I got you with the 5v5 2K League event video. Yes, we played in this 5v5 event. As you can see, the event is starting right now. I'm walking in. Now, I already won the 3v3 event. And as y'all know, if you watched that video, I did get lucky with getting a teammate as my friend. This video, we did not get any friends on our team, just randoms the entire time. Um, and the winner of this event gets unlimited Duncan layup boost, a spot in the 2K League draft pool, a jersey, arm sleeve, all that apparel. Um, now you're probably asking, why would you play again? You already got those events. Well, or all those rewards for that event. Well, this time it's 5v5 and there's a 2K League professional league for 5v5 and 3v3. And yes, this event, you play with randoms. It goes by leaderboards by position. So I'm in the point guard leaderboards. And this is the first team we got. So we got a level 40. We got a goat tier, a silver tier, bronze tier. Never played with any of these dudes before. And I'm just walking in with randoms. And hopefully we can win this 5v5 event. Now, we're going to show every single game in this video. This was the first game right here. Now, every if you play all four hours of this event, because this is a four hour event, you will probably get done somewhere between seven to eight games completed right now as you can see to start the game they were like not passing to me this game this was a pretty bad game they, for whatever reason they were like icing me out i finally get the ball right here spin back three bang that is my first bucket of the event but look at this like every time he inbounded i'm the point guard they were never passing to me it's not like i was doing anything wrong you know i hadn't missed a shot no turnovers i'm trying to be it's not like i'm ball i got three points they were not giving me the ball. You see, the other team they had people quit. At this point, it's almost halftime. Only have six points. I and when I get the ball, I'm like, okay, I gotta earn these guys' trust. I'm trying to pass the ball. I'm trying to get an assist. I'm trying to score. Look at me. I got the ball. I'm fading over two people. Green. Like I'm not missing. I got assist, and none of these dudes did not want to share the love. Look at spin back, shooting over this dude. It's a yellow green. I'm going crazy. And after that shot, I'm like, okay. They got to start passing the ball to me at this point, right? They got to start passing the ball. And by the way, the goal for this event is to get top five. That's how to win this event, right? And I'm also on my 6-7 build. The link will be in the description for that build. Anyways, I, as you can see, we're up 15 points. Like, yeah, we're going to win with this team. But I need my, my points because as you guys know, the more my points you get, the higher you're going to rank on this leaderboard, right? I have 12 points, six assists. I've missed one shot, no turnovers. And I'm not get, I'm not getting many touches. Look at we're up four points with a minute and a half left. I have 14 points, six assists. Like this is by far the worst game I had in this event because I just wasn't touching the ball. As you can see, even on that inbound right there, that guy did not pass me. Another inbound right here, right? They just don't pass me the ball. Thank God this guy passes me. It's a two-point game, and I have a free throw. Two seconds left. They foul me. I gotta hit these free throws, right? I gotta come up clutch. The game's basically over. I just got to hit these free throws. Boom. I make the first. I actually don't remember if I made the second. We're about to find out here. But we're up three points. A free throw would end the game. And it ends the game. We win by four points. This team calls a timeout. I finished with 16 points and six assists. That's not going to give me that many my points, though. You know what I'm saying? We need a lot better games than that. I think this is the first game, though. And yeah, like I said, let me know. Drop a like on this video if you were just not getting the ball. I mean, I just was not getting the ball in that game. I was trying to talk in game chat. They weren't talking. And look at this. It kicks me out the game. So I don't get to see how many my points I got. So I quickly try to load up my player. I'm spamming A right here to load up my player because I'm like, yo, I got to try to get back in the event. Like, I'm, I got kicked out of the event. And I didn't know at the time, but that game right there gave me around 30 to 32,000 my points, which is really 
really bad. You want to shoot for around 50,000 a game. So look at, I, I'm spamming it that whole time. It finally loads me in. I get in my go, go kart, go all the way back in the event. I load back in and now I have to get a whole new random team, right? So I only have one game and I didn't even check the boards. I'm going to try to check the boards right here. And look, at, it's showing the event before. Like this isn't even the event right now. It's showing a previous event that I had played. So my leaderboards were glitched the whole event. So I couldn't see what place I was throughout the entire event. But I'm going to tell y'all roughly what place I was after each game right here. I'm not even close. I'm maybe top 50, maybe top 100. But look, at, I'm waiting for a teammate. And it took real time. It took 14 minutes to find a teammate here. 17 minutes, including the, the loading through the menus and stuff. 14 minutes y'all trying to find a teammate look at us just standing here waiting and waiting and waiting i finally find a match oh my god the matchmaking for this this event is horrible because you have to find one position in each position right so this game starts out horribly like if y'all thought the last team was bad at least they were at least we won you know what i'm saying this game it was bad. Like, I'm passing dude wide open. They could not make a wide open shot. They couldn't make the right passes. We're down 5-0. Nope. This dude throws a turnover. We give up another dunk. We're down 7-0. This guy shoots another wide open three. He misses. I mean, I'm dotting dudes wide open. I'm trying to be passive. I'm trying to earn their trust, but they can't make a shot, and they can't play defense. I mean, it's 10-0. I get a steal right here. Throw it down to this dude who had an open dunk, slows down, passes out, passes it back in. Takes this contested layup, misses, gets the rebound. We don't score there. I pass it to him. He makes both people jump, passes out. Then he passes out of an open mid-range, throws a turnover. And just like that, we're down 12 to 0. Like, will we score this quarter? I don't know. I pass to another open man. He finally gets a layup. And look at I have one assist, one steal, one turnover. That's our first bucket of the game. Bro, at this point, I should have had like I swear, like, 10 assists. That's how many open shots I was getting these dudes. This dude takes a contested layup. Late's the first free throw. Thank God he makes at least one of them. It's 14-3. and three. We even got a transition Whoa. foul. This dude half bars his free throw. I mean, this is looking horrible. At this point, I'm like, should I just give up on the event? We're down 16-3. to three. This dude's wide open. The pass gets there late. He passes out. We don't get a bucket here. We are down 16-3 to three at the end of the first quarter. I don't even have a point. I only have one shot taken. Now that they thankfully they were giving me the ball a lot. But I get a shot right here. I'm like, I gotta take the catch and shoot. I hit the three, 16 to 8. And this team calls a timeout. Like, what? And right when I get a three, we give up a three. I give this guy to the ball down low. I get an assist for that. It's called for goaltending. I throw it down here. Get another duck. I'm trying to be passive. I'm trying to earn this team's trust. And it was working because they kept giving me the ball. And I kept finding the open man as we find the dude in the corner. And now it's 22 to 15 on the fast break. I'm kicking it out right here. Another open midi. And look at that. We cut the lead from 16 to 3, a 13-point lead, to just a 5-point game in just half of the second quarter. I get another open three right here. He's jumping at me. It don't matter. We cut that lead from 13 to three. 40 seconds left. I get a steal right here. I'm going on the break. I'm like, yo, I got to take my two points. I got to take my points when I can get him. One point game, 20 seconds left. I get the ball. I'm shooting from the half court line. Damn near. I mean, two, we're up by two. We got the lead. We were just down 16 to three. Three seconds left. I'm fading on my back foot. Oh my gosh. I'm in my bag, y'all. That I mean, I had to clip that shot. It was so crazy. Then we're going to steal the end of the half. And just like that, I have 14 points, six assists, five steals, only missing three shots. And we have a one point lead going into the second half after being down 16 to three in the first quarter. As you can see right here, I get a steal. I'm going to try to throw the lob. We don't get it, but. This team was still selling a little bit like they, they, you know what I'm saying? They were late in a lot of open shots. I'm wide open right here. He doesn't pass it. He takes this contest lap. This team I had, their decision making was horrible. And I'm grateful that they were giving me the ball a lot because if the ball was in my hands, there was going to be good decisions made. I was going to shoot when I'm open. I'm going to pass to the open dude. Maybe they'll miss it, but hopefully, you know, they're going to have a good shot at the end of the day. I get another steal, fast break dunk after that corner fade three, and we're up six. I'm starting to get us a little lead, little spin back, shooting over those. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm the miss right now. I got my teammates flopping because I'm cooking these dudes. This dude's jumping. I'm pulling back near the logo, and that's green. 
We up 17 points. I mean, we just looking unstoppable. 27 points, 7 assists, 7 steals. Going into the fourth quarter almost. I am 7 for 9 from 3. 40 seconds left in the third. I'm getting triple teamed. It don't matter. Give me that green. 15 point lead and look at we're up 21 points with three minutes left in the fourth i mean what a turnaround we went from down 16 to 3 they give the ball they trust me with the ball and look at the difference it makes we making the other team quit i have 40 points 12 assists nine steals right there and i end up finishing this game with 46 points 14 assists and 10 steals a crazy triple double game as i end it with this fadeaway three look at the difference but when the, when my team when these randoms trust me with the ball you know what i'm saying we could go crazy if they trust me they trusted me after i was getting some after they started hitting their shots in the second quarter and boom just like that we get 46 14 and 10 and that gives us 56 000 my points which means at this point we have nearly 90,000 my points. Um, next game, you know, a couple of people leave. We get a couple new teammates, right? And I would say at this point, I'm probably around 15th place, right? And we need to get to top five because my first game was a little slow. And we're at 15th, which is bad. First play of the game, I dot this dude in the corner who actually ended up quitting pretty early on. I feel like he just didn't wasn't getting the ball a lot but i was just passing him when he was open spin rack right here nine to six and once again i'm trying to get a game like i did the first game now we have a seven three center on our team now so we were getting a lot of buckets to him i had i have eight assists right here three points this is only my second bucket of the game as we're fading over this dude and most of my assists were just dumping it down low to this seven three center we had our on our team and it was giving me a lot of assists because the goal for me when i was getting into this games with randoms i was just like okay i'm gonna try to dot people and i'm gonna try to score when i'm open and that's exactly what i did catch and shoot wide open three we got about 12 points eight assists right here we got 18 points 11 assists we're only up two points with three minutes in the fourth fade away three boom give us a five point lead i had to secure i had to get us that lead i had to make sure we were going to win the game dump it down to the seven three center he gets a little hook shot when that gives us a seven point lead and that kind of secured the win 10 seconds left this dude is fouling me and the reason i didn't score as many points in the last game is that the guy that was guarding me was like fouling me he was all over me the entire game like he was locked in right he was pretty solid the other team's defense was pretty solid but we secure it 11 point win 22 points 15 assists not a bad game but as you're going to see when this game ends it's not what we need we need better than that we did get two steals as well i shot seven for 11 from three and that's game three down in the books okay we're shooting for around seven to eight games completed in a four hour event because this event is four hours and at this point we're about an hour getting close to an hour and a half into the event right so i get forty-one thousand my points which means we have around 130,000 total so i would say after that game we're still around the same place 14th place and look at all my teammates left except for one guy we get some new teammates here as we waited a while there we get a couple goat tiers we get a level 40 which isn't bad so i'm like okay let's get into it so as soon as this game starts i dot this dude in the corner hits a three and i start talking in game chat because i was doing this every game and no one was responding i was like is anybody in game chat and a couple guys were responding the center as you can see was in game chat and the guard named Mark was in game chat. So View and Mark were in game chat. And I was like, okay, word. That's all I need is a couple guys in game chat. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna be really passive. I'm gonna make sure I get some lobs, make sure I get some assists. And that's exactly what I was doing this game. As you see, we have an assist counter on the board for a reason, because we were throwing dimes this whole game. We were getting steals. We were throwing dimes. We were hitting our shots. And my boy, Mark, as you're gonna see, in this gameplay he hits a lot of threes because he was a sharpshooter now that that was a late but that was his first shot i remember after he missed that shot he was like yo let me just get warm i'm like okay okay you know hopefully this guy's a good shooter he ended up being a great shooter we also had a tall center that i was telling just to icon it to me so we can get a fast breaks and it was working i was communicating with a center that would trust me a sharpshooter that would trust me and it was working beautiful on offense i was dotting everyone i mean look at this and one layup it, i got eight assists it's only the second quarter flashy pass even though i have a wide open dunk i'm playing unselfish basketball this game i'm trying to get assists i'm trying to see the two dudes that are in game chat with me i'm trying to see them eat because if they eat they are gonna trust me with the ball in my hands and is the if the ball is in my hands we gonna win i mean look at me throwing lives we have 17 points i got 12 assists zero points wide open three no i'm gonna pass it to the even more wide open three my boy mark in the corner 18 point lead i'm getting i'm playing crazy good defense too we pushing for 10 steals this game 
and right here you know i did you know i was trying to score trying to get an open guy but this dude was not talking to game chat so he runs out of bounds but it is what it is i'm still playing defense and my first bucket of the game is right there doesn't come until the third quarter i have 13 assists make it 14 assists and look at right here we throw it up behind the back oh my god is that lebron and d wade I mean, we throwing dimes, we throwing lobs, we throwing dish passes, we throwing dump passes, we throwing it to the corner. We doing everything out here when it comes to throwing dimes. I mean, I'm looking like John Stockton, Chris Paul, Magic Johnson, you name it. Look at, I have 12 points, 18 assists, seven steals, even more assists on the way. Two minutes left, we're up 23. I'm throwing lobs. I'm trying to get as much assists, as much, you know, stats as I can rack up to end this game right here. That's gonna be our 21st assist. This is, look at, I just threw it between his legs. I mean, damn, I didn't even know I could do that. 22 assists, throwing it to Mark again, bang, bang. And I was like, yo, this is the team. And I even told them when this game was at, y'all, I'm gonna stay in for another game, hoping they would do as well. And they did. I mean, of course, my boy Mark, I just gave him 41 points off of some dimes. I finished with 15 points, 23 assists, and a bunch of steals. I think it was eight steals, yeah. And the center went crazy. He had 10 and 16. So I was like, yo, let's play again. And they were like, yeah, let's, I'm down. Well, I'm trying to win the event. So I was like, bet. I finally have some teammates to communicate with. We get 56,000 XP, which is going to give us around a total of 180K at this point. And at this point, I'd say I cracked the top 10. I can't check the leaderboards, like I said, because it's glitched for me. I'd say around this point, I am top 10, 156 or 186,000 my points. We get into this game right here. I still have those same two teammates. I think one of them got replaced, but that it was one of, actually, no, it's the exact same team as the last game. Now we were playing a pretty good guard. This Sam kid was pretty good. Uh, he was taking control of the other team. So we only have a four point lead. I'm being very passive. Once again, I have zero points, six assists right here. I get my first bucket of the game. 2K was trying to troll me with that little animation right there. We have 15 points. I'm dot my boy, Mark. And I'm telling you, this boy, Mark, was a sniper. I mean, he was shooting over people. I was playing pretty defense, pretty good defense on this Sam kid. He was pretty solid, though. Probably one of the better players I've played in this event. But we're up by 20 points. I got nine assists right here. One of my first threes of the, actually, my first three of the game. We shooting over over him 20 point game as you can see i have 10 points 10 assists two steals the other guard actually going crazy with 20 points but i'm beating him in every category less turnovers i got more assists i got you know less fouls i just got half as many points but right but twice as many more assists so i'm like okay let me put up some points if he gonna put up some points let me put up some points as you can see i have 19 points with four minutes left in the game just remember that 19 points four minutes left in the game and I start going crazy. I mean, when I tell you I wasn't missing, I wasn't missing. This is the first time when I was playing with these dudes in game chat that I really started shooting because I knew now they trust me. It's okay if I sh start shooting a lot because, hey, I was diming them up all game, right? And this Sam kid eventually quits out here with about a, a minute and a half left. And I'm just sparking it. I mean, 37 points now? 37? I mean, damn, it just kept coming. I'm wide open again. I got a takeover. Bang, we are 50. I mean, wow, 50? A 51 point lead? Look at me spinning back. Where is he going? I'm double teamed. It don't matter. 54 point game. I'm still shooting. I'm definitely shooting now since I got an AI. I'm just shooting over the AI at this point. 55 point lead. I got 46 points, y'all. 46. This dude misses wide open. I get a last second three. I'm telling the center, yo, dot me, dot me. I scored 30 points in the fourth quarter to finish this game to give me a stat line of 49 points, 13 assists, five steals, shooting 15 of 20 from three. Wow, that was a good game. That gives us about 54,000 XP. Now we're about at around 230,000, which is pretty good. We're definitely over halfway through the event. We've played five games now. We're almost hitting that three hour mark. We gotta, or we're probably already at that three hour mark. We gotta finish three games, right? So we got about the same team. One guy left, I think, but we got a new teammate, but it's all good. As long as I got my guys in game chat that are staying in the game, my boy Mark is the sharpshooter. My boy View is the center. And I'm chilling. First play of the game, I'm dotting Mark. They were leaving him open. 
simple as that and mark was a sharpshooter that was his build he was just a sharpshooter right so he was just the guy to catch the ball shoot it i dot him randomly i was obviously the facilitator that could score the ball when he needs to and then we had the center that was just you know passing to me off a rebound and playing good defense right he was getting a lot of blocks but look at i'm fading threes i'm dotting i loved that left corner in this game i mean i was going there a lot that was my spot this game and they just kept letting me go there so i just kept shooting there you see i got takeover this dude's jumping at me it does not matter i mean this game i mean the last game is making this game not look as good but this is another great game we hitting the pop that center could shoot as well so he could hit the three ball when he needed to look at i'm in the lane i'm getting steals 15 seconds left we are up 17 points and just another good win this team we were playing was pretty solid but it didn't matter we we were talking in game chat and i finished this game with 39 points 19 assists as you see i was trying to get the lob to end the game but they were they were on the lob right but we went by 20 points once again i had 39 points 19 assists so that's gonna give me the 50k as long as i get 50k my points i'm chilling and hopefully y'all enjoying this 5v5 content y'all make sure to drop a like if you want some pro am content or something uh because this 5v5 content is low-key a w but yeah we didn't shoot as well from three as the last game but we still played good bro we went crazy 58,000 my points that is our best game yet so now we're at like 300 and like eight 310,000 my points total or something like that now once again the other teammates left but it's okay as long as we got mark and view i'm chilling so we get some new teammates to come in and now we're going into game number seven with about 40 minutes left in the event i'm like yo we gotta get in these two games right because if i don't get in that last game i might not win and at this point i would say i'm probably seventh eighth place so i'm not top five yet but i'm close to that top five so first play i get an assist we going for a three now we up 11 to four early at this point i'm going for a big game i need a big game right now i'm not really going for points but as you can see there is a point counter in the in the corner for a reason because we went crazy in this game i mean damn we were not missing and to be honest I'm gonna be real with y'all. If I really, from the jump, was like, yo, I'm going for 100 points, I guarantee you I would have got 100 points in this game. But I was trying to get assists too. I was trying to keep people involved. You see, I got 15 points, nine assists. Um, but yeah, I wasn't missing. I started cherry picking early. As you can see, I was cherry picking a lot because they had a guy, some guys quit, and I was like, we're already up 40. I mean, look at the score, y'all. It's 49 to eight, and it's not even halftime. So I'm like, yes, I'm gonna start cherry picking. We already won this game regardless. 56 to 8, y'all. I mean, it wasn't even close. These dudes were quitting. They're cold. They're lost. This team we were playing against was so bad. And not only did we have, I had good players on my team, but we were communicating too. It was just me, Mark, and Vue in the game chat the whole time. 74 to 20. Step back, green. Seven. We're up by 57 points at halftime, y'all. Actually, wait, no. We're up by 60 points at halftime. 80 to 20. I have 37 points. 14 assists at the half going into the second half i mean bro we're up 60. at this point i'm shooting over ai's they trying to double one of the dudes that was guarding me fouled out they only have two guys left in the game 46 points now we got damn near 50 points 49 points 14 assists i mean dude this game was crazy look at i'm ai stepping back in on the ai because I mean, it's free points at this point. I was like, okay, the more points I get, the more my points I get. I didn't realize or consider the fact that there could be a cap to the points. 100 to 35. 100 to... Imagine not quitting out at this point. We beaten the dude by 65 points. Fade away three. Green, 110 points. It's not even the fourth quarter. That's disrespectful. Make it 113. And look at, we had 66 points going into the fourth. And this is what I mean by... If I wanted to get 100, I would have got 100 because I'm going to spoil it right now. I ended the game with 72, which means I only scored six points in the fourth. But I was really trying to like force lobs in the fourth, but we couldn't get any lobs like the center was covering it. And the center was the only one left in the game. So it is what it is. We finished with 17, 72 points, 17 assists. I mean, wow, what a game. Eight seconds left. We're up by 67 points. And I'm thinking, yo, this better give me like 60,000, 70,000 my points. Hopefully we have a time for one more game, right? And you're going to see, we went 133 to 69. Almost that whole team quit out. I shot 23 for 27 from three. I mean, that is crazy efficient. I mean, Mark shot 50 for 20 as well. He had 48 points. He went crazy as well. Let's not, you know, forget about him. 
and I only got 56k. I'm like, yo, so clearly there's a cap on shooting. So I'm like, okay, whatever. We have about 370,000 buy points. And then this dude leaves, right? So I'm waiting for a teammate. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. He leaves. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And I waited for a total of 11 minutes real time, y'all. And before I even knew these guys were going to leave, I'm like, oh, we might have time for one game. And look, at, I'm still waiting. I'm like, yo, I want to play with Mark and View still, but I have to back out if I want to get another game in. I have to. So I'm risking it. I'm backing out. I, I check in my place for the first time all event. I'm sixth place. 360,000 mod points. I'm like, yo, I got to walk in. I got to walk in. It might take a long time to get a teammate. And oh my gosh, I need to finish one more game. I'm sixth place. I have to place top five to win the event. I can't. I don't even have a teammate. I'm walking in and there's nobody even there. So I walk out again. And I'm like, yo. 2k you gotta give me a team this is y'all don't know how risky this is i could get a team they could suck they could just not pass me the ball they could ice me out just like the first game get no my points and i don't get anything i finally get a team right here or we could not finish the game in time and it just doesn't count so i was really tweaking out right here as you see our team doesn't look too crazy a bunch of silver bronze tiers nothing crazy right i get into the game and i'm like it's time to lock in it's we win this game and dominate in this game or we don't win this event at all it's down to this game if i have a good game i will win the event if i have a bad game i will not win the event we're in sixth place i get an assist i go to my left corner fade green we up eight to four i don't even know if we're gonna win i don't know if i'm gonna get the ball out but i'm trying to get my teammates to trust me no one's talking in game shot i get a steal i throw a lob i'm just trying to be passive right i'm trying to get other teammates involved so everyone on the court you know what somewhat trusts me right here i get a little dump off pass to the center he takes the dunk we're up 12 to 8 and i start to notice some tendencies with some of the players on my team as i spin back wide open three that's green okay six points three assists at the end of the first here and I start to notice, especially like with the red vest guy, that every time I pass him, no matter what, he just going up with a shot. He does not pass. So I'm like, okay, if I want an assist, I could pass to him and he's just going to chuck up a shot regardless, right? And I started noticing tendencies with some of these guys right here. The whole team is on me. It does not matter. I'm in the quadruple team. You might have to send all five if you want to stop my fade. 12 points, four assists. I'm going back near the logo. That's green. 15 points, four assists. Not a crazy stat line nearing the half. But I just want to win this game. We down. We up one point. I'm hitting this corner right here because he's open. If someone's open, I'm going to try to hit them unless I really want to get it. think I can get a three with Tiggler, right? See, this guy trusts me. He passes me. I dump it down to red shirt because I know he's going up with it. He makes it. 39 to 30. We're up by nine points. This team is calling timeouts right here. I go to my fade. This dude that was guarding me could not guard me. Okay, he could not hold me. We have a 12 point lead. I'm feeling confident. I got 18 points, six assists. I'm shooting pretty efficiently. I'm getting triple teamed behind the half court line. So I throw it down court and I get that three for my boy in the corner. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, getting triple teamed behind the half court, court line is crazy. I was even getting quadruple teamed on that fade right here. Wide up the coach catch a shoot. I got two dudes jumping at me. They can't stop me. They can, I don't care how many guys you were throwing at me. Look at this was disrespectful right here. We dumping it down to the center. That's another dunk. We're up 15 points. I'm like, okay. Well, I'm feeling confident. 21 points, eight assists. Get a three right here. Now we're up 16. And now I'm feeling like, okay, we are definitely winning this game. Now I just got to put up the enough stats to hopefully slide me into that top five ranking. So right here, I get an easy mid range. We up by 15 still. It's about halfway done with the third quarter. This dude, I'm telling you, when I tell you these dudes could not hold me, look at the double team. The third guy's trying to come help. He doesn't. And that's a three. I mean, they were throwing all kinds of people at me. I get a steal right here. He throws it down to me. I'm just going to take my open dunk. 18 point lead. I was in my bag this game. I was in my duffy, y'all. Look at, they throw the double team. Well, you know, you know where I'm going. That's green. That's another three. It don't matter how many dudes you throwing at me. I'm going to score the ball if I want to score the ball. We get another steal right here that he thinks I'm going for the fade. No, I'm slamming on the whole team. Okay, maybe it was just one guy, but I'm slamming on him, okay? We didn't have a lot of dunks this event because I was going for threes and assists. But there's one of them right there. 20-point lead. Look at they got, they got, Damn near got three guys up on the three-point line on me. 
you know, I throw it down. But once again, you know, my teammates are not going to make the best decisions. Y'all are seeing a lot of highlights. They're the mutts. So I already know y'all going to be in the comments like, oh, how did you get these good teammates? Trust me, a lot of my teams were not good teammates except for the Magic and View guy. It's just I was passing them when they were wide open. They would make at least half of them. And I would score the ball when I needed to. As simple as that. We have 25 points right here. Like I said, easy dump down. He's obviously he's going to take a wide open layup. Look, at I'm going up with a contested dunk. He fouls me like crazy. That's his fourth foul. We are up 27 points. Crazy blowout. I'm going for a couple of free throws. At this point, we have around 38 points and 11 assists with three minutes left in the fourth. The event is about to end. I get a crazy lane steal right here. I already know I'm throwing the lob because at this point, I don't even care about my stat line. I'm just trying to get a couple extra plays that I know will give me that couple extra XP points that will hopefully throw me in the top five. So I start cherry picking. I hit a three right there. We up by 27 points. A minute and 20 left. Guys, this is it. This is what the whole event comes down to. Are we going to qualify for not only the 3v3 like one of my previous videos, but the 5v5 events as well? Right here, I'm trying to see if anybody was messaging me. Uh, that view guy messaged me. That mark guy messaged me. Shout out to y'all boys for um, playing with me in the other previous games because y'all went crazy. I want you to know that. Y'all are a big reason why I won as well because y'all were in your Duffy just like myself. Anyways, two seconds left in the final game. The event's about to end. I'm like, hopefully this event counts because the event ends right before that. And then look, it, it just kicks me out. It just kicks me out. After having 42 points, 13 assists, four steals, it just kicks me out. I'm like, okay, oh my God, did we win? The event's over, right? The event's over. So I load up. I load up beats is going on. I'm trying to see if I won the event. So I go ahead, season events. I go to recent events because it's not going on anymore. And I accidentally checked the Wednesday one because it wasn't even showing the Friday one, which is the one I just played in the recent event. So I go back to the recent events to refresh it. There it is. I click A and I won fifth place. We barely won. All you had to do is place top five as you can see in the top bottom right. And we won. We won the event. I'm going to show my live reaction. I was low-key pretty stunned. I got fifth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got fifth. Yeah, anyways, we got all the rewards. I actually placed fifth with a total of 412,000 my points, playing with literal randoms the entire time. So I qualified for the 3v3 and the 5v5. We had some crazy games. We had our 72-point game, our 23-assist game, multiple 10-steal games. And if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I had 17 out of 20 events. Now it's showing on my legend prize that I have 18 out of 20. So it didn't pop up with my prizes. But it gave me the prizes, I think, because the event ended as I was as the game was ending. You know what I'm saying? So I went in, I checked my clothes, I checked my boots. I that this is the rewards you get. I did have the jersey still. I had my arm sleeve. I had my unlimited dunk boots. Um, and it even gave me uh the, the 24 Gatorade as well that you get, or the 25 or whatever it is, um, with the event as well. It gave me my 10,000 VC. It gave me everything. I got the email from the 2K League as well after you, when you win this event. So yeah, we going crazy, man. We have now qualified for the 2K League draft pool in the 3v3 and 5v5 league. Let me know if y'all want to see the videos of the next step. I don't really know what the next steps are going to be for this. Drop a like on the video if you guys want to see the next step for the qualifiers since I qualified for 3v3 and 5v5. Drop a like if you want to see Pro-Am content because I have been playing a little bit of Pro-Am. And subscribe to the channel for some if you want to see some other banger videos just like this one. There is my legend status. We are getting close to legend, man. It's coming up. But top five secured. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you can see every time I go live or every time I post another banger video like this one. And we have secured another event, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. It's been your boy, Henry, a.k.a. Double H. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.